NBC News has learned from three officials at a wide-ranging Pentagon meeting this summer that the president called for a dramatic increase in the nation's nuclear arsenal, as many as during the Cold War era, rattling some of his own top advisors. Now, an actual increase would violate nuclear arms control treaties going back to Ronald Reagan. That meeting taking place right before the Secretary of State called the president a moron. All of this comes as the president is locked in a high-stakes standoff with North Korea. This morning, NBC News has learned striking new details about a July 20th meeting at the Pentagon that preceded Secretary of State Rex Tillerson calling the president a moron. At the time, the president said the meeting, which also included the defense secretary and vice president, cabinet members and top military advisors, was very good. Tremendous people, Pentagon, nothing like it. But three officials present in the room describe a meeting that was at times tense. One key moment, when the president told his national security team he wanted to expand the U.S. nuclear arsenal to what amounted to nearly 10 times its current level. The current number of U.S. nukes is approximately 4,000. According to the sources, the president was shown a chart of the history of the U.S. nuclear arsenal, which peaked in the late 1960s at roughly 32,000 weapons. The president told his team he wanted the U.S. to have about that many. And while some in the meeting didn't take the president literally, according to officials in the room, briefers explained to Mr. Trump why expanding America's nuclear stockpile isn't feasible. The U.S. is not planning to alter the size of its nuclear arsenal. It would not only break with decades of U.S. nuclear doctrine, but it would also violate a number of international treaties. Since his candidacy, Mr. Trump has been inconsistent with regards to his stance on nuclear weapons. While insisting he was against nuclear proliferation, in some instances, he seemed open to the idea. But if you say to Japan, yes, it's fine, you get nuclear weapons, South Korea, you as well, and Saudi Arabia says we can want I, them can too. Can I be honest with you? It's going to happen anyway. It's going to happen anyway. It's, it's only a question of time. They're going to start having them, or we have to get rid of them entirely. Shortly before his inauguration, Mr. Trump tweeted, the United States must greatly strengthen and expand its nuclear capability until such time as the world comes to its senses regarding nukes. All this coming amidst mounting tensions with North Korea over its nuclear program. Overnight, a show of force. U.S. bombers flying near the Sea of Japan alongside Japanese and South Korean aircraft. President Trump meeting with his national security team Tuesday to discuss the crisis. The defense secretary stressing diplomacy this week while cautioning all options are on the table. You have got to be ready to ensure that we have military options that our president can employ if needed. The White House wouldn't comment on the record for this story, but one White House official downplayed any tension surrounding nuclear weapons at the July 20th meeting, saying the nuclear arsenal was not a primary topic of the briefing. A spokesperson for the Pentagon would only say the defense secretary's conversations with the president are privileged. The Trump administration is in the process of modernizing its nuclear arsenal, which does not violate any treaties. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.